All right, guys, this is gonna be a video on how to properly size a rucksack or a backpack. This is one of the best techniques you can do to ensure a comfortable hike. So when it comes to hiking and comfort, the most important thing you can do is have proper fitting shoes and a proper fitting backpack, because those are the two things that are gonna rub against you, create blisters, cause pain, and make your whole trip miserable. Having said that, the proper fitting backpack is always gonna be easier than proper fitting shoes because almost all backpacks within reason will adjust to fit you. When it comes to fitting a backpack properly, the first thing you need to do is loosen up all of the straps. When I say all of the straps, I mean the shoulder straps, the waist belt, and then these straps right here on top that everyone forgets about, I'm calling these the polar straps. Those have to be loosened up first. Now, before you put the ruck on, you need to tighten all of this up. If you have less stuff than the volume of your backpack requires, you need to snug it up. Otherwise, this thing slops around on your back as you walk. So you'll usually have these side straps, snug them all down, tuck the straps away, do this on both sides. Not too tight, just snug, okay? Shut all of your lids so that you're not gonna lose your equipment. Keep it all nice and snug. Once this is snug, now you have a good package that's not gonna roll around or slap or bunk on you every time you move. So take care of that first. Now that we've got that part taken care of, we're gonna throw the backpack on. The backpack should ride lower than where you want it. The reason it's gonna ride lower is first, we're gonna tighten up the belt strap or the hip, hip pads. So once I've got that nice and snug, now these hip pads are gonna ride right over your belt. If you are a man, they're gonna be in a different position than if you're a woman. That's why it's best if you can to wear a men's ruck or a woman's ruck appropriately. So for men, for Boy Scouts, we're gonna put that right over the top of our belt. A quick note on belts. If you can get those Velcro adjusting belts, they're always gonna be a little more comfortable than those hole adjusting belts because the Vel Velcro belts can snug up just a little more to compensate for the fact that this belt, this hip pad is gonna snug it and change the size every time you wear it. So I've got my waist belt snugged up here. Now, I have to deal with that, okay? The way that I deal with that first is to snug up these shoulder straps. One right here and one right here. Now you can see that that has pushed the ruck onto my back. So now all of the weight is on my hips and pulling my shoulders straight, pulling my spine straight. What that does is it better helps me to have a straight spine and therefore carry the load more appropriately. So now that I've got that done, I like to, to connect this little chest strap right like that. This is also a good time to run your camelback hose or whatever you want and configure that right here. Now that that's done, the last thing I need to do is to pull all of the weight up onto my shoulders and bearing on my hips. We want the weight on our, sh on our hips and above our shoulder blades, okay? The higher the weight, the easier it is to carry. That's why in the other video, I talked about putting all of the heavy stuff between your shoulder blades. You don't want it bonking you as you walk down low, you want it up high. So to get it up high, that's why we do this last final strap adjustment right there. And that feels almost like I've got a spine board on me. It feels great. It removed that pressure that I have on my shoulders. Now I have pressure pulling back on my arms, on my hips, and I am ready to go. Also, because I strapped everything down, it's not sloppy, okay? I can move, do whatever I need, and this rucksack moves with me. It doesn't shake me as I walk, I shake it. All right, guys, hopefully this is valuable to you. Make sure to build it from the bottom to the top. Remember, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Always tell people where you're going. Read through the whole camping manual before you get out. And thank you for watching.